Well, friends, they did it. Somebody, and by somebody, I mean Studio, S-T-E-W-D-I-O, I think is how you spell it, made, oh no, sorry, it's S-T-E-W-D-I-O, that's what I said. Oh well, you know what, I'm gonna cut that. Burp. They finally did it, friends. And by they, I mean a small dev studio called Studio, but spelled S-T-E-W-D-I-O, based out of South Korea, made a Snowpiercer game. Not literally, mind you, because that would require, I assume, licensing. But crucially, 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 Frost Train is just Snowpiercer the game. Like, it's so Snowpiercer the game, they're going to get a cease and desist letter from Warner Brothers any minute now. So we better get started. Now, full disclosure, I have beat this game once already because as it turns out, and you only learn this at the very end, it is simply a demo. Which means on the plus side, I get to be excited for a new game coming out sometime. And on the downside, it's not a full game. So you can play as Mr. Lim right from the start. And then these guys are locked. But I found a bug. I found a bug. If you go back to the title. And then hit new game again. You can select these people. So I'm going to select the second conductor, which I haven't beaten the game with. And we'll see if we can beat it. This let's play is going to go until I either win or I lose because this game can lose. And I'll explain the game and its mechanics along the way. So, let's get started. From the very heart of eternal winter, those who long to survive have gathered. Standing on the failures of the past, they have overthrown the corrupt leader of the train to the rumored promised land. Okay, I did not read that fast enough. Uh, also, the translation is a little wonky, but that's, that's okay. Uh, the old conductor has been kicked out, the new leader has stepped in, the great storm follows. The great storm freezes nodes as we get to them, but I'll explain that in a minute. Passengers are still angry. The train must go on. Heading to a new destination. I am your assistant conductor. Your first task is set a floor before the set a course before the storm devours us. Uh, we must first go to the observatory. The observatory can be found by heading east from here. Okay, we're gonna pause real quick. So this is the world map. Uh, this is the observatory. The storm hasn't appeared yet. It slowly sort of freezes points along the way. Uh, so we're going to want to kind of move east as fast as possible, but we also want to gain XP because uh, that is how we get more train cars. So this character can start with three train cars, which is awesome. The other character only starts with one, but they start with a specific level two car, which is nice. Anyways, so we're going to have to get some XP. You get one XP per node you stop at. So we are going... Oops. Can you only... Oh, it looks like you can only plan your journey while you're moving. Um, we're going to do this to farm as much XP. That means we'll be missing this thing, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to farm a whole bunch of XP and then hope we can eventually get a, stay ahead of the storm, but we'll see. Uh, we need XP because every time we gain a, uh, hit one of the nodes, we also get a choice. So here we get to choose between the meditation room which is a culture type car run by children of the engine, which is like a religious order, I gather. Because honestly, the only lore in this game is explained in the loading screens. So you kind of have to do it all on your own. By the way, you might be noticing I'm kind of blocking something. Right behind me is simply this thing where you drag cards you don't want for free uh, cards. After you grind up so many cards, you get a new card. It's not super important. The other one is the job school, which is an education style one. Uh, if we have two or three education style cars, uh, we get additional happiness. Um, and it's part of the fuel and hammer brotherhood, which has problems if they're not close to the engine. But once you get four of them, the car acts activates twice per cycle and cycles are just kind of this general thing it doesn't actually show you how long a cycle is it's a set amount of time though and we can reduce what that time is so i'm going to go with the job school because the children of the engine don't really become powerful until you have four of theirs so maybe i could build up some cards down here 
but in the meantime, let's go. And because I beat the game once, I have access to the fast button. It doesn't make the train go faster so much as it makes time go faster. So, uh, Department of Labor, plus two happiness, plus three if passenger is full. The game doesn't explain what passenger is full means, but I do think it means that if the like you have maximum cars, I'm not fully sure. I'm going to choose the blacksmith, I think. Uh, so, Central Supply Bureau shortens the amount of cycle time, which is really good. But, and it would pair well with her education car, actually. Um, but the Red Forest Templars uh, start training, and then every, like, cycle, they generate more happiness. Actually, hmm. You know what? I might do the Department of Labor, because then we'll have two schools. And that'll get us a nice little bonus. And we can start... Okay, we'll do that. Because this thing will get to the point where it activates ten times per cycle if we get seven Fuel and Hammer Brotherhood. And if we get six uh, um, Central Supply Bureau cars, we'll reduce the cycle time by a lot. So, but anyways, no, it's it's great. It's great. Look at all the snow and the train. Oh, look, another job school. I didn't want... Oh, that was a mistake. Because I can stack these. So now it's a level two job school. Which is fine. But, um... It's not what I wanted. Okay, so we got a... We got a ways to go. And I can already have five cars. Um... You know, let's go to Department of Engine Control. As much as I would want another Department of Labor to stack on here, I need more. I need more cars. Uh, more than anything, that's kind of what we need. What do we got? Department of Security. Sure, another Central Supply Bureau. Uh, so now we've reduced the cycle time, which is good. Okay, what do we got? A penance room. We're not really doing Children of the Engine right now. Produces random for happiness. I don't really understand how entertainment rooms work, but they basically produce random happiness, and if you have enough of them, you get a lot more random happiness. Um, and I don't know what zeal is. I haven't yet figured out the way to spend zeal, so. Uh, media is when you reach a new node, you gain happiness based on the number of train cars you have in the media. And then every four cycles you gain an academia card. Um, we'll go ahead and just add this media train to the car for now. It'll get cut probably pretty soon. It was just more than anything, I was avoiding that um, children of the engine. Because I don't know what to do with zeal. Uh, I'm gonna choose, given that they're both plus four happiness and they're both culture buildings, I'm gonna choose the academy one. Because then we'll get, uh, an extra academy card every so often, which just, it gets us more cards. And that's early game, like, we're just doing this initial loop, we're just fishing for cards. Uh, ooh, let's get a Department of Press, because not only is that Central Supply Bureau, but it will pair well with our other press car. So now we have two press cars, so at least we get some bonus happiness. And we only need two more Central Supply cars before our cycle time is greatly reduced. Okay, we're going to get the Sheriff's Office. Um because that will increase our brotherhood of hammer and fuel uh, as much as leveling up our department of labor would be nice. We're still kind of building our engine. And plus we get this, now that we have two security types of cars, we get a free information interception division, which is nice. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, look at this, look at this, like, giant cloud in the background. The, the game has a lot going on in front of the screen, I I recognize, but, um... It's very pretty for how simple it is. 
Okay, so we have a tavern, which is a culture card. Like I said, we're avoiding Children of the Engine right now just because we've kind of gone all in on Central Supply Bureau. Um, so what do I have? Okay, I have four in the Central Supply Bureau, so I can afford to take one of them off to replace. Uh, and we'll just keep this in my hand for now. And actually what we'll do is we'll go ahead and recycle these, get a free card. Uh, oh, do we have... Okay, we have a level 2 job school, so we'll go ahead and get the permanent entertainment. And then we'll have... Oh, landmark. Uh, we found the frozen expedition. So... Yay, head to the city. Uh, Department of Press. Let's do the Department of Press. We already know what the penance room is. Okay, so come back here. We just want to go... Straight up there. Um, and the reason I know this, like I said, I beat this game once. You get times two XP on river nodes. So we're just literally going to ping pong down this river. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, which will be the equivalent of eight. As you can see, the storm is kind of closing in. So we have to keep an eye on that. Uh, Department of Entertainment. Stack with thine self, please. Okay, let's go faster. Okay, we're really losing some happiness from these guys. Oh, my next drone is here, bringing in a train car. And a gambling house, um, which I can put there. So now I have four. So now when they're activated, they're activated twice and they no longer lose happiness based on the numbers of facilities in front of them. So that's good. Uh, you give plus two happiness. Oops, whoops. Three if full. You're five at happiness. You want okay, so I'm gonna actually swap you out. And then I'm gonna grab this because I'm paying attention. Okay, we already have a level two Department of Entertainment, so we'll grab this tavern. Um upgrade the existing tavern, and then chart this southern route. And I think we're doing good. Like the storm is only to here. So I think we're doing okay so far. The storm is pretty freaking deadly. Cross the river. Free node. Uh, let's get a manpower generator. Why not? Uh, do I have a... Zero to three, but this gives two happy. I'll take a reliable two over a random variable right now. Um, okay. We already have a job school, and I don't think we really need a meditation room because we're we need all three of these on the board eventually. So we'll select the job school and then put it in the little bin. I am at uh, 6 out of 15 points for my next card. So we'll get that when it comes in. In the meantime, we'll just go faster. Nope, 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 oh, oh, I almost messed that up. And we want to go, so this is going to say north or south, and we want to remember we want to take south. Ooh, communication center. Perfect. Okay. That is great, because we're about to get another level. We'll drop... <clears throat> Actually, what we'll probably do is we'll probably drop... Um... I don't know what we're going to drop in. Uh, probably this level 2 Department of Entertainment, to be honest. Uh, okay, so now we've entered a new area where there's a stink. And that means we get a constant little drain on our um, happiness. So, but it's only through here and then we're back into the snowfield. So we'll, we'll, we'll power through. Um, here, we'll put in a gambling car, why not? Actually, you know what, we'll put in another gambling car trade out that manpower generator for now 
Because these... Oh, I need three entertainment cars. Oh, well. So I need two more central supply and one more... No, no. Two more central supply and three more fuel and hammer brotherhoods to really maximize those sort of things. Uh, so let's just kind of speed up through here. Head south, please. Uh, okay, we already have level 2 Department of Entertainment. Um, but we'll grab it just to burn it. Okay. So we need to go here and do some ping-ponging to you know, I'm, I'm doing that thing. I, I knew that this was on the map. Last time I played, I, I went north and didn't wasn't able to capitalize on this. But this time, I'm going to ping pong, bang, 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 and get uh, a couple of extra XP from the river route, which will be nice. Um, ooh. Uh, okay, I have level one Department of Labor. But I'd kind of rather have a level two sheriff's office. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. We need five more XP before we get anything, so we're just kind of banking. Uh, we're just kind of banking happiness right now. Uh, ooh. Do we have a level 2 Department of Engine Control? Ah, I can't see. No, we have a level 1 Department of Engine Control. So I'll grab that. Get a level 2. There we go. Man, I could also use a Department of Security right about now. Okay, let's, um, oops. Drone... A uh, fine library will grind you up. Um, do do do. It's a secret ocean town, huh? Yeah, we'll head there. Why not? I'm I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Head to the city. Grind that up, get a new card. Uh, I already have a level two department of press. Train design room is actually pretty, pretty good. So we'll just keep that for now. See, hopefully, hopefully this route. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head here. Like, okay, what do we need? Okay, that would be a level two communication room, and then we can go ahead and put the manpower generator in. Actually, uh, frankly, this one's better for right now. Inquisition room, training school. hold on to the Inquisition room. It's not the worst thing in the world to have, because if I get security to four, I get central intelligence, which is nice. And then towns give you slightly better cards, which is also nice. I already have a department of engine control, so we'll get a cryptography lab and we'll just bend it immediately. Okay. Ocean floor under the sea. <laughs> We're in the big train tube. And I hope we're going the right way. Oh, 
Watch the drones bring supplies. Passengers reminisce about warmer days. So I'm gonna think an undersea city would actually be fine. Uh, yes, we'll grab this train design room. Put it there for now. Because we are slowly increasing our speed by having a train design room and a Department of Engine Control because they both provide train power. Okay, we're getting a lot of happiness, which is great. Ooh, an orphanage. Uh, so we'll put the orphanage where the tavern is because it provides more happiness. But now we actually do have enough, um, we have enough to get to where everything activates 10 times. I just want my level to go up a little bit. So if my level goes up one more, I can, I can do it with only losing like probably this Department of Entertainment car briefly. Let's go up, Let's start to... The storm is starting to catch up, so actually, let's not go that high. There we go. Let's hit these two big, uh, small towns, because they'll get better cards. Like, that's really it. We'll just get some better cards. We got some time, so let's use it. Uh, we'll grab this control room, because the Red Templar control room is actually better than the train design room. It's actually better than the... This plus seven happiness plus four improvement plus three training. And this plus ten happiness plus six improvement. So if I get a second one, um, that will be good. Deep ocean, explore the darkness. Okay. If I was a gambling man, I'd pop back, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna gamble. We're just gonna... Oh, I need to clean that card before it goes away. Uh, ooh, Department of Labor, which will then stack on our existing Department of Labor. Move this tavern up. Let's burn the Inquisition room. In fact, let's burn the control room. We're not gonna actually use it. Uh, we have a level 2 communication center, so we'll get the archive and we'll burn it. Okay. Three more stops. Okay, a drill ground. I, I'm just gonna burn it. It's a duck double-sized car, but uh, we have our build. We just need levels more than anything. So... Oop, that storm is getting close. Gonna start out running it. Uh, control room. And burn it. Onward. Oh, we're getting to, this is getting spicy. But our next stop, we'll get the level we need and then things are really gonna take off. Uh, keep the Inquisition room around, why not? Yeah, this is getting spicy. If I can get the first class communication room, I'll be pretty happy. Do I have a level two sheriff's office? I do, so we'll get the drill ground for fun. Okay, 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 stop the train. Okay, so train design room, calm down here. Communications, be in the back. Tavern, you're up. And then, um... I guess it's just the entertainment one that'll go for now. But there we go, we've got to seven. So all of these, all of the highlighted cars will activate 10 times per cycle, which is great. Uh, that's what we were kind of building towards. So 
we should see an explosion of happiness. There we go. Uh, shoot. Has the storm overtaken? The storm has overtaken me. Oh, man. This could have been it. This could have been the game. Uh, if you get overtaken by the storm, you're in bad, bad luck. Come on. Give me more cards. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am freaking out. Oh, I think I lost. I hate it. Open the gate. It's a spooky death gate. Okay, good. I got the front room. I got the front room. Um. Okay, what can we give up? I can't give up anything because I need my short cycle. Okay, right, we're just going to hold the front room for a bit. I mean... Yep, ask for a second chance. Tensions are rising. Oh, I got so close, guys. Uh, the storm's overtaken me. I've lost. So what did I... It was, it was this little jag. Um... Darn. Darn, darn. Well, darn. I was doing so good. Getting seven cars from the Fuel and Hammer Brotherhood is great. But, you know, here's the deal. Like I said, it's a demo. And if I beat it, you would know how to beat it. So learn from my mistake. And basically, I built the engine I wanted, which is to say I got seven Fuel and Hammer Brotherhood carriages and they were generating tons of happiness it's just i fell behind and i think if i was just a little bit a little bit carefuler with my route planning i wouldn't have fallen behind because we did do two big detours early on to grab more xp from the river and i think that was the right choice but but i shouldn't have then done that detour in the deep ocean I should have just, boop, gone straight through and stayed ahead of the storm and tried to make up time. And that's okay. Anyways, this has been Frost Train. It's a game that's really fun. It's literally Snowpiercer the game, and it's free on Steam. So you should check it out, because it's a fun little deck builder, and it's a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. It's a great, it's a great, great, great puzzle game. It's exactly what I would do if I was building Snowpiercer the game, which is to say, make it about sort of the combination of cars and what cars are doing. Although... If it was Snowpiercer the game, what I would do is it would be like you'd have all the cars because that's how Snowpiercer works. And your job would be to sort of sort of like Frostpunk. You have to like pass laws and change sort of the characteristics of the cars rather than sort of get new cards. But I do like how they do it with cards. It did result in me saying cards and cars a lot, but whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.